Hey Virgo, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today we're going we're going to be doing your reading for finances, money, career, professional aspects of your life. So let's see what's in store for you. Let's see what important advice the universe wants to send your way through the cards. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, I invite you to do so if you resonate with my energy and you resonate with the readings. And also know that these are general, so they apply to many, many, many Virgos watching. It is important for you to take what resonates and applies for you and ignore the rest because it may be for someone else. The advice could be for someone else or the information. Virgo, let's see. First, we've got the King of Wands as main energy or main situation. So in regards to your money, in regards to your career and professional aspect or area of your life, there could be a big chance that right now you're feeling very passionate, very fiery, very inspired and motivated to make some deep and profound changes, very positive changes as well. Maybe you are trying to transform who you are, how you see money, how you perceive abundance and how you also sustain this energy of wealth. Some of you guys could be focusing on your wealth consciousness and increasing your wealth consciousness. Others of you may be feeling a little bit impulsive as well. Okay, so the impulsivity um, factor is all right if the impulsivity is really matched with your intuition. If you know intuitively that that's what you have to do, do it. There's no need to stall. But if the impulsivity is just there for the sake of impulsivity, for the sake of doing things quickly, that could bring, bring trouble if you're not careful. As a challenge energy, we've got the two of cups. So there could be some turbulence or friction with business partners, coworkers, um, someone important at work. There could be some friction, there could be some trouble that is requiring your attention and maybe even requiring a very important conversation. In your mind space, it seems like you're thinking about speaking to this person. It seems that like you're thinking about creating this, the proper space for this, this conversation to happen. You're also receiving powerful and important ideas as gift, gifts from the universe that can help you change your career and your finances in positive ways. So listen to what your intuition is telling you. Listen to what happens on your mind space. Are important informations arriving? How? Why? What are they kind of like inviting you to do? And obviously run that through your own inner compass to see if it resonates with you before taking any action. The Ace of Swords also speaks about epiphanies. So important kind of like aha moments may be happening for you right now in regards to work. And I think that in regards to maybe harmonizing the energy with this other person that is showing up here. In the recent past, you've got the seven of pentacles. So it seems like you're feeling quite proud of all of the things that you have accomplished, but it seems like you want more. Maybe you're analyzing your previous steps analyzing your previous um, achievements and thinking, how can I make the most out of this? How can I use all of the resources that I have, kind of like combine them together to bring in better results? At the same time, you do want more though. It's like you're proud, but you want more. <laughs> and you're gonna definitely get more, it seems. With the 10 of swords, in regards to your recent, I'm sorry, sir, your near future, this card could be representing many things. Maybe a way in which you're working in partnership with another will be ending. If you feel like it doesn't resonate with you anymore, if you feel like that person is holding you back or that harmony is no longer available in the connection, don't be afraid to make a change. Don't be afraid to make a closure of a chapter happen perhaps with this person for others of you you may realize that there's still some lessons that you need to learn in regards to finances some of you guys might make impulsive mistakes if you're not really thinking about it 
that might lead you to troublesome times in regards to money. So please make sure that you take that into consideration and try to avoid being impulsive in regards to your money. If you do this, victory is assured for you. If you continue to be grounded and careful, if you continue to be inspired and motivated yet not impulsive, if you continue to think about how to make things better, put your effort into it, you will definitely come out victorious. Okay, the Six of Wands is a card of recognition, public recognition, success. Everyone being very, very aware of how successful and victorious you are. But it will take a little bit of thought. You're being represented right now, Virgo, as the King of Swords. So it is necessary for you to be objective, to analyze, to strategize, to use your intellect, your mind, your common sense in regards to the movements and decisions that you are making. It's like you're the perfect combination between the King of Wands and the King of Swords. And if you are keeping that balanced, it seems like you're gonna be definitely um, achieving some success here. With the Knight of Cups in your environment, maybe the person that you're dealing with could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Maybe this person is um, the one you're in partnership with, maybe your coworker, your social, I mean, your business partner, professional partner, boss. There is a connection between you and a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in regards to work, career, or money. This person is around, is in your environment. They may be very creative, they may be very emotional, very spiritual, but they lack groundedness. They need a little bit more of a sense of their feet on the ground for them to be able to successfully work with you, Virgo. And you kind of appreciate that they're in their own little space because they can bring in a lot of very out of this world energy, you know, very spiritual, very um, kind of like past life wisdom energy and spiritual concepts. But you don't know if maybe that's all they can provide and you maybe need someone who can bring that down into the practical physical world for you. And that's where I feel like there's a disconnect with this person. Ultimately, with the Hierophant here, it seems like you are headed in a very positive direction towards fulfilling your true spiritual mission and purpose here on Earth. It seems like you're overcoming all of your obstacles. It seems like you're accessing all of the wisdom and expanding into perhaps a mentor or a spiritual guide for others or a very successful person within your industry, whatever it is. However, I do see you on your own. And I do feel like this person could be, you know, bringing in kind of like a sense of confusion and illusion that is actually distracting you. This person's energy can be acting as smoke and mirrors for you. And it's like 50% of what they say is accurate and it's grounded and is right. So that leads you to believe that they have it all together. But then the other 50% is just so random, like makes no sense at all. It's not based on reality. It's just smoke and mirrors. You have to see how worth it it is to continue this connection. For those of you seeking clarity, believe it or not, dancing it out can be very beneficial for you. Shaking your mo your body, moving your body, get your energy flowing, your blood, you know, pumping. This actually can be very beneficial as far as clarity for you. If any kind of like huge conflict arises um, with this person, you can, you know, blame it on the moon. <laughs> this is the message that we're getting here from the season of the witch. And the interpretation that I'm getting is actually that close to when I'm posting this video, we have the new moon in Libra. And then, you know, every two weeks we've got a new moon phase, a full moon or a new moon. Pay 
attention to the astrological aspects of these moons because they can be influencing this separation or unity with this person, depending obviously on what you want for the future. Analyze the aspects of how the astrology may be affecting you, especially Jupiter. I don't know why, but just I got that intuitively, so just check it out and see how that may be affecting you. I don't know if you saw this movie, Serendipity, it takes place in New York, it's really sweet, it's kind of like a chick flick, like a romantic movie. <laughs> but this movie is actually all about synchronicity and how some things are just meant to be. How a lot of different synchronicities and quote-unquote coincidences happen in order for other things to come through. You may be experiencing a lot of synchronicity and serendipity in your finances, in your work, meeting the right person getting the right idea, acting at the right time, just everything flowing so, so effortlessly and bringing in such a powerful, powerful result. We got two messages from the Ab Abundance Angels Oracle. I'm going to be sharing them with you. The first one is Quiet Retreat for those of you who resonate with um, Vipassana. That could be beneficial for you. It's time to disconnect from the outer world so that you can discern and process your true thoughts and feelings from your inner world. Create this quiet time for yourself and you'll have more clarity about what to do next. For some of you guys, it's going to be quiet. For others of you, it's going to be loud <laughs> with music and dancing. You can even find a balance between the two practices, you know what I mean? Like do a quiet retreat and then go into an ecstatic dance experience or something like that. Second message here for you, Virgo, is power of prayer. Give this situation to God for uplifting and healing, and be open to miracles. Heaven's unlimited resources, love, and answers are awaiting your prayers. Be sure to act upon the divine guidance God gives to you in response to your prayers. Alrighty then. <laughs> So this is what I have for you, Virgo, at this time. I hope that you enjoy this reading as much as I did. I'm sending all of my love and please make sure to be subscribed to the channel if you resonate with my energy and the readings. I would love to hear you. Um, I would love to see you here um, further along. And yeah. Also stick around for the October readings. They're going to be quite Halloween-y and interesting. <laughs> Bye, guys. I love you so much.